Sellers and welcome to FSB TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and coming up I'm going to demonstrate how to create a cold shoulder top using an old shirt. The tools that you're going to need for this project are fabric scissors and make sure they're sharp, tape measure, straight pins and a fabric marker which can be optional. Now let's get started. This is a really simple super easy project now here's my old shirt that I'll be using. I recommend that you try it on first just to give yourself an idea about where about you want to place your pins in order to do your cutouts. And once you've done that and you're okay about roughly about how it's going to look, one key thing I do want you to keep in mind is it's best if you cut your shape smaller than what you think because remember, if you cut it out to where you think you want it to go, there's no going back if you're not happy. So it's best to cut it smaller and then try it on again and then make another adjustment. So let's get started. Now, I've folded my shirt in half and I've aligned the shoulders and I'm going to put a couple of pins in there just to keep it stable. the most important area here is going to make sure actually I think I put another pin there to stop the movement of the sleeve okay so this is going to be the important area is the armhole here so you want to make sure that those seams are matching up on both sides so you can really touch and feel your way to make sure that they are aligned you want to make sure that they look the same on both sides unless you go for something that isn't the same on both sides so i'm happy with one more pin there just check yep yes i'm happy there and here you don't have to put as many pins as i have Okay, so now that I'm happy with the fact that I've aligned the shoulders and I've pinned it to keep it stable and also the arm hole here. The next thing to do is you have to decide on the kind of shape that you want. This is all about personal choice. So you can go from this point and do a shape. You can pencil that in or you can do it freehand. That's what I'm going to do. And um, you can go from whatever point you're happy with. So I already made my measurements of um, how far I want it to come from the neck point here to the shoulder so and it was about four so I'm going to be starting at this point here for my shape and I'm going to be coming roughly about here as well I just want a small a small shape here I've already made one of these shirts as well and I love it I should really put it on my Instagram page, um, which I should do it. I will actually, so you can make a comparison between this one and the other one. Um, I wore it recently when I went to London. So yeah, there. So my shape is going to be coming here. So it's quite a small cutout shape, but it could be here, here, and make it as big or as small as you like. Um, let me know in the comments what kind of shape you're going to go for as well. So, like I said, it's super easy. Stable there. So the next thing to do is to get your fabric scissors and then it's to cut out. Now, I'm going to start at the shoulder here. And I'm going to get my shape to that point. So it's quite a small shape and I'm going to free hand this. So I am not going to be drawing this, but you can do if you wish. I like doing this sort of thing. I like experimenting with um, refashioning old clothes. I am going to keep this quite small because I've, as I've said, I've already made one which is a lot more bigger than this shape that I'm doing here. And you just go around. And there we go. There's my shape. 
no turning back if I'm not happy. But no, I'm happy with that. And that is how simple it really is to create one of these cold shoulder tops. All I need to do now is remove the pins and then it's ready to wear. I've now removed all of the pins and this is what you get. So you've got the cut out on both sides now. And it's so simple and super easy to do. Now I'm not going to finish off the raw edge of mine because I really do like the effect that it has. I love that raw edge and it looks great with jeans and um, as I've said before I've already done one of these already but it's a bigger cut out that I did and I just love it. I've worn it about three or four times and it really washes well and the more the more that I wash it, I can see it's starting to look frayed around this area, the cutout. But if you want to finish off yours, then um, I have several techniques of uh, bias binding that you may want to try. And if you do have a go, put it in the comments how it went and just let me know because I love to read your comments. And yeah, I can't wait. You know what, I might even make another one of these. I'll let you know. I'll put it on my Instagram page if and when I do, make no promises. But I definitely have this on my Instagram page so you can see what it looks like. Anyway, that's the project. So um, I hope you do give it a go. And if you do, put it in the comments. The uh, technique that you may have used, you may even want to just go with the raw edge. But that's it for now. And I will 